Hello everyone, it's Colby. It's so good to see you guys again. Technically, I guess, whatever. Um, I don't know if you guys saw the reason I didn't have a video last week. I went on a getaway with Jesus. Uh, really, it was more like a me running to Jesus trying to find him, but I did, which I so thank you for. <clears throat> I'm going to talk to you guys today about forgiving yourself because I think that is one thing and one barrier that a lot of us put up and it really affects our lives. It affects our relationships, our relationship with God. It, I mean, it affects us in a very large scale. Um, and I just wanted, I felt like I wanted to just tell you guys that everything I talk to you guys about is stuff that I've gone through, sometimes stuff I'm going through. Like, it's all my experience of it. And it's not just me, you know, picking out a verse, read it, and then write down this script or, you know, before I go on here and just kind of, just kind of fake it. But it's real and I want you guys to know that and I don't want you to ever feel like I'm just saying all this stuff and, you know, I don't, I haven't gone through it, blah, blah, blah. I have. I've, I'm going through stuff. I've gone through stuff. I've came out of stuff because of the Lord and that's just what I want to help you guys do. So I just want to remind you guys of that. So, um, like I was saying, forgiving yourself really, it's, it's, it's hard. I mean, I think sometimes we'll, uh, like make a mistake or something and we'll forgive the other person. If another person's involved, maybe it's just us and we just feel like we can't talk to anyone about it. We can't do anything about it. And we definitely don't want to talk to the Lord about it sometimes because we think that he's just going to be so mad and so disappointed and not want anything to do with us or something, but I just wanted to give you guys a little news flash. That is a lie. When you don't forgive yourself, that is the devil saying, ha, sucker, I'm going to make you go through every day of your life carrying this burden of some mistake that you made. Don't let him do that. You made mistakes. Guess what? We all have. We're all sinners, you know, but we can come from it. If you made a mistake, you sit down and you say, all right, I'm going to confess this. I've made this mistake, but I'm not going to make it again. But learn from your mistakes. Make a change when you make a mistake. Don't just turn around and do it again and then say, oh, you know, oh, man, I wish I didn't do that. Oh, but I'm going to go back there and do it again. That's a habit. That, that's not you realizing you need to change. That's just you not wanting to change. So um, the verse that the Lord kind of led me to was one that I honestly just found um, past few days. And um, I just, I want you guys to know, and what I've learned is that the Lord is a forgiving God. Jesus died on the cross and he rose from the dead because of us. Like, is that not amazing? You, you, right, you right there, you watching this. He died for you so that your sins would be forgiven, so that your mistakes would be forgiven, so you don't have to go through every day remembering and beating yourself up about anything you've done. You let it go and you let God just take care of your life and control it and you let him take over it. You don't have to worry about it anymore. That's the beauty. God forgives. He forgives. So forgive yourself because when you're not forgiving yourself, you're allowing the devil to put a barrier in between you and God. Because I know sometimes if I haven't forgiven myself for something something I regret that I said or something that I did, I'm like, well, you know, I, I don't want the Lord to be upset or you know, I don't want to go to him and just say blah, 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 all this stuff that, all these lies that the devil has placed in my head that I know he's probably placing in some of yours. But they're lies. That's what they are. And Psalms 103 2 through 5. Let all that I am praise the Lord. May I never forget the good things He does for me. He forgives all my sins, all of them. All, okay? And He heals all my diseases. He redeems me from death and crowns me with love and tender mercies. He fills my life with good things. My youth is renewed like the eagles. <laughs> I just got chills. I just realized it's kind of like my little crown that he gave me, you know. He forgives, you guys. So forgive yourself and accept his forgiveness. 
Don't, don't put that barrier between you and Him. Allow Him to give you that peace and forgive yourselves. Forgive yourself. Everybody makes mistakes. We all have our own trials and tribulations that we go through. Not one person can walk and come in here and be like, well, I haven't made a mistake. Baloney. Okay? You have. So forgive yourself and realize that God's already forgiven you. You just, you just have to confess up to it and just say, all right, I did this. And I'm sorry, but I'm going to forgive myself. I'm going to allow you to forgive me, Lord. And I'm going to move on. And I'm going to take this experience and I'm going to put it in my life so I don't make that same mistake again. Man, God is just so good. God is so good. He's so good. Just, it's an amazing feeling when you don't have to walk around with these chains and little links of things you're holding on to and things you won't forget or things you won't forget. Just cut the chains loose because you don't have to walk around with them. You don't. Oh, I love the Lord so much. Um, I love you guys, and I really hope this week you just take a look at all the things you're holding on to and realize you don't got to hold on to them. You let them go. Let them fly away. Because guess what? Your youth is renewed like the eagles. That's a bird. That's a big, awesome bird. Okay? You get to fly away. So fly. Let all your worries, everything, just let them go. Let them fly up, and they're God. They're, it's in God's hands now. You don't got to worry about it. That's a beauty. He's awesome. He's so awesome. Um, I'll see you guys next week. Have a great week. I'll be praying for you all. And uh, I love you guys. So, kisses. Forgive yourself because God's awesome. Okay, bye.